It is a delicate balancing act, chasing down the suspects while keeping the rest of us safe. I would say uh, in the last four years, easily we've had more than the, the previous decade. Communities coming up with ways to capture the bad guys and reduce the risks on the road with police pursuits on the rise. Tonight, only on News 5, Tracy Carlos tells us how police departments are outsmarting criminals instead of trying to outrun them. From north to south and east to west, the number of police pursuits across Northeast Ohio has accelerated. A big increase, I would say. And the numbers back it up. So far this year, police pursuits in Wycliffe, Willoughby Hills, Westlake and Rocky River have already outpaced all of last year some departments seeing double digit increases. But why? One reason? Some agencies are choosing to not pursue at all, even for more major crimes that some other agencies do pursue. And I think people have gotten used to not being pursued, so they continue wherever they go and they choose to violate the law and then fail to stop for the police. Police departments are balancing the risk to the public versus catching the criminal immediately. It is easier today than it was even 10 years ago to track down who was driving a fleeing vehicle. New technology in some cases is leading police right to the criminals. The Rocky River Police Chief told me they have had success at finding cars and arresting suspects after they put the brakes on a pursuit. Surveillance cameras, license plate readers, um, fingerprinting and DNA technology, um, Services like OnStar for cars where you can catch recover stolen cars using GPS that is embedded into the car by the manufacturer. Those have all made it easier for us to recover the property and, you know, lead to an arrest. Several counties have a network of cameras that never blink, catching criminals behind the wheel. New tools, technology, and Lake County courts have put Wycliffe police officers in the driver's seat after breaking off a chase. There's a lot of different ways, and we've had a lot of success in garnering uh, arrests and then convictions. And along with Lake County Common Pleas, we've been able, when uh, we do get the convictions, they're getting some significant time for having pursuits, probably more than the reason they ran in the first place, whether they had drugs or gun in there. They're probably getting more time just for the pursuits now. In some cases, up to a year behind bars. Tracy Carlos, News 5. While every local law enforcement agency has its own pursuit policy, there are statewide guidelines in place. They were developed by the Ohio Collaborative Community Police Advisory Board, a group created six years ago by then Ohio Governor John Kasich after a number of police involved shootings in the state, including the one that killed 12 year old Tamir Rice. The advisory board has developed minimum standards for local and state law enforcement in nine categories, including use of force, hiring officers, community engagement, investigating misconduct, response to protest, and chases. Those pursuit standards say that an agency's policy should, among other things, define the criteria under which a chase can be initiated, include a provision that prohibits or discourages pursuits in certain cases, define everyone's role and specify who has the power to stop a pursuit and when. It also says that because of the risks, police agencies should try to limit the use of chases and stop them whenever the danger created by them outweighs the danger of the suspect getting away. More than 500 law enforcement agencies across Ohio are considered certified in at least some of those state standards that covered more than 80% of Ohio.